So what if there's too many fusions happening and we want to decrease the number of fusions? Well, we can use control rods for this. Rods of boron called control rods can absorb excess neutrons. So let's say we have a neutron here. It could, if it bumped into another uranium nucleus, kick off another fusion, but there's too much fusion happening already. So we use a boron rod to absorb the neutron. So the idea of this is to reduce the number of neutrons that are available to be absorbed by uranium nuclei, kicking off the fission. So the rods of boron reduce the number of nuclear fissions that occur. Without the boron rod, we have the situation on the left, where one reaction causes another three reactions. On the diagram on the left, we see what happens if we put a boron rod in and it absorbs one of the neutrons then the first reaction only causes two more. If we wanted each reaction to cause just one more reaction, then maybe we would need to put more boron rods in. Rather than putting more or less boron rods in, a different way to think about it is we could lower and raise the boron rods in between the fuel rods to control the rate of reaction. So with the rods uh, this far into the moderator, they stop some of the neutrons from causing more fissions. If we needed to slow down the reaction even more, we could just lower the rods further down to here or something. Let's talk more about nuclear power now. Nuclear power stations convert the energy released by nuclear fission. Hey guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific GCSE physics and combined science videos, just click on the snap revised smiley face. Join me today and let's make physics at GCSE a walk in the park.